Do your days feel busy but not productive? Let me show you how to fix that with time blocking, a simple system that helps you plan every hour and actually get things done. In this video, I'll show you how to create your own time blocking tracker in Google Sheets. You can customize your own categories, set up your time blocks and add daily activities to your timeline. There's also a space for your top priorities of the day. Plus, you can choose your start day of the week and the rest of the dates will automatically fill in for you. We'll also add a pie chart to visualize how your time is spent and calculate your total hours for the week to help you stay on track. All right, first we'll set up the basic layout so everything's nice and organized. I'm going to add the categories here. It really depends on how many categories you want. You can add more or fewer depending on how much space you need on your sheet. In this tutorial, I'll be using around 10 categories. Now, I'm adding columns for total hours and percentage so we can see how much time each category takes. Let's go ahead and change the font and resize the text a bit so it looks nicer. For today's date, we'll use the today formula so it updates automatically every day. For the start date, I'm using data, data validation. Add a rule and under criteria, select is valid date. Now, when you click on the start date cell, a calendar will automatically pop up and you can easily choose your starting date. I'm going to add the date for the first day of the week here. Using the text formula here to show the weekday. Let's add a section for top priorities right under the date. Next, I'm going to add a timeline section for our daily activities. This is where we'll plan out each hour of the day. You can start adding your time blocks here. I like to begin at 7 a.m. with 30 minute intervals for each block. Then select those cells and drag down to fill the time blocks for the rest of the day. Now the timeline's ready. Let's add a drop down list for our categories. This will make it easier to select each task later. Go to Insert Drop Down. Under Criteria, select Drop Down from a range, then choose the category range that we created here. All right. Let's start customising our sheet to make it look a bit nicer.
Let's highlight the entire column for our first day, then copy it to create the rest of the days in the week. For my seven day calendar, I'm adding plus one for the second day, plus two for the third, and continuing like that for the rest of the week. Don't forget to update the weekday text formula too. So the day names change automatically with your new dates. Now, let's calculate the total hours for each category. Let's start by calculating the total hours for each day. I'll begin with the first work category. I'm going to use the sum if formula. First, I'll select the category column. That's H12 to H46 to match our work category. Then I'll sum the total hours in J12 to J46. I'll also include the minutes column. But since it's in minutes, we just divide by 60 to turn it into hours. Just repeat the same steps to apply the formula to the other days of the week.
Now, to find the total work hours for the week, all we need to do is copy the same formulas we made for each day and add them up. Just make sure you add a plus sign between each one when you combine the formulas. After you've finished adding everything, don't forget to put an equal sign at the beginning of the formula. I didn't add the equal sign at first because if we do that too early, we might get an error while setting up the formula. Now, let's check our formula again to make sure everything's right. And don't forget, it's really important to add the dollar signs to all the columns. If you forgot to add the dollar signs, no worries. Just go back to the first category formula, add them there. and then drag it down to update all the other categories. All right, let's hide this row to keep our sheet clean and organized. Now I'm gonna add up the total hours for the week so it's easier to see how we're doing. For the percentage, divide each category's total hours by the total hours of the week. Don't forget to put a dollar sign in C12, so it stays fixed when you copy the formula down. Next, just highlight the whole column and change the format to percentage so it's easier to read. Highlight your whole table and click insert, then choose chart. I'm going to use a pie chart so we can easily see how our time is split between each category. You can customize the chart to match your color theme. And that's it. We've just built a time blocking tracker in Google Sheets. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more Google Sheets tutorials. You can also check out my other videos for more productivity templates and AI powered tools to boost your workflow. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.